Hi, I'm Ata. Today, I would like to share with you how to construct a dynamic model in MATLAB. Although the topic demonstrated today is relatively simple, I will be using some more complex features or commands in order to complete the model as some model may be more complex. These features or commands will be helped during constructing more complex systems in the future. Let's analyze the model of free folding ball first. There is a ball with a mass m kilograms which starts from a static initial state and falls freely from a high h. It will be affected only by gravity undergoing a vertical downward motion until it reaches the ground. Let's begin writing program to generate the parameters and equations required for the model. First, we should set the parameters previously mentioned, including mass, gravity, and height, and save them as a file under the name parameter.mat. Next, we set up the coordinate for a system. Since it is a free-falling ball, we only need the velocity and acceleration in one direction. Then we write the Lagrangian of the system describing the kinetic energy T and potential energy V of the free-falling ball, subtracting T from V from the Lagrangian. After writing down the Lagrangian, we can plug it into the Euler-Lagrangian equation. This equation describes the Q double dot in the state base form, which is a function of Q and Q dot. It is also applicable to different generalized coordinates. To further describe the trajectory of motion of the model, we can use MATLAB's command ODE45 to solve the analytical solution of the equation by a runge kuta method. After writing out the euler lagrangian equation, we can use MATLAB's computation to generate and simplify the equations. We need two equations. The first one is the main equation which describes the model's motion, which I have named free falling ball function. And the second one is the event function for the numerical computation, which is named event touchdown and is set to terminate the solving of the main equation when the position is equal to zero. We have already finished the generate model program. Then we just have to run it to obtain all the required.m and .mat files. Afterwards, with just reading these files, we can easily solve the motion of the model. Now let's create a MATLAB file for reading and solving the trajectory of motion of the model. We read the parameter that my file we created earlier and set the time span, initial condition, and tolerance. Then, using the ODE set command, we include the event function and tolerance, named as ODE option. Finally, we can use ODE45 to solve the model equation. I also present the results of the solution in a graph, indicating the coordinates and units. If you are interested, this model has an analytical solution, which you can compare with the numerical solution to see the difference. I think the results will be similar.